Liberty International School, and today I'm going to be presenting the new frontiers for education in the 21st century. So first, I would like to start by sharing a web tool that I read online, which acknowledged the importance of education, and I believe such realizations are also a process of education, and they come suddenly. Within the webtoon, the world was starting to come under the authority of fishes polluted by garbage that humans throw away into the ocean and other kinds of environmental pollutions. These monsters were now trying to get revenge and massacre on humankind. A group of large people had survived by landing on an island, and within this group was another group of gangsters who were burly and strong even from their physical appearance. Surprisingly, the leader was a tiny, weak man. But the secret behind this was that he was an intellectual professor. The gangsters had guns, but all followed the words of the professor. The importance of knowledge is great and enormous, and I learned this just by watching a single webtoon, and I undoubtedly believe that we all learn this daily. A brief history of education. Education would of course not exist without communication between people and people, humanities, nations, and the world itself. So it begins with communication and communication methods, hand signals, sounds, and then more a definite form, writing. Words started the revolutionary form of communication and education and started the development of writing and speaking. Once humans became able to write, it was possible to really understand and comprehend what the other wanted to talk about, and new inventions and developments and heading toward the future all became possible. But this was only the small beginning of education, and what really stirred the significance of knowledge was books. Books were what created the difference between those educated and uneducated. The upperclassmen who were able to afford these expensive books received education and were able to sit at their bureaus comfortably and desks to work out political things and etc. while the uneducated farmed. With printers, books were now being mass produced and all people equally could receive education. A fundamental system or institution had to be created to share the knowledge of a person or people through educational institutions, such as schools. Now, what was and is the real purpose of education? Why do people really want to learn? Yes. To develop intellect, to serve social needs, to contribute to the economy, to create an effective workforce, to prepare students for a job or career, and to promote a particular social or political system. But what is the most important in education is the realization of the possibility of what we can do as a human being. Today, educational systems vary across different nations. I will focus on four countries, Korea, Japan, United States, and France, to compare these educational systems. Korea, relationships between teachers and students, teachers and parents, and parents and students. They're just so artificial and focus merely on the success, college, and education itself. It is good that society and government are so involved in Korean education to the point that they render unnecessary changements to textbooks, but the coolness and the hardness of Korean education takes away the humaneness and mor morality out of it. Japan has gotten its educational system motives from Je China and the Western world, just like Korea got it from Japan. Its textbooks focus on its greatness and is pretty much isolated from the rest of the world. United States. The United States has a much more of social education, where assignments include group projects and etc. that motivate students to work together. However, President Obama has recently shown much enthusiasm for Korean education, as you guys see in the news, and he believes that U.S. should also follow that of Korea. For what? Effectiveness, which I will um, talk later on. France. France's school system is very different from the educational systems of the norm. In general, you would. You would in in France. You would ch you could choose to start lycée professionnel, which is direct relation to your job, and show great interest in your goal area. Why I compare these four countries is to show the common problem here. The common problem, which is also prevalent in other countries, is shown mostly within education system of Korea, which is gaining much attention from all over the world with its effectiveness. It involves little or less interactions, emotions, and humanely values. But what determines the efficiency of education? In this graph, it shows how Korea is the top two most efficient country in the world in the field of education, but it also consists of the greatest danger in education. France and U.S. combined seems to be closer to the effective and moral, the ideal education in the future. 
Starting your career from high school and really pursuing your goal from a young age will allow you to meet new people from all over the world at such an earlier time. But this competition, like in Korea, lacking interactions and communications required of the service may seem effective, but in reality, or not. Today, with developments of technology such as internet, online courses, sharing our knowledge, we donate, donate not money and material things, but the ideas and education to those in need and those who are not as privileged as we are in terms of education. Such technologies must be maintained, improved, and developed, but even this must be up to a certain limit. The traditional education cannot and must not be replaced by the online courses, and this is quite obvious. Once it goes over the boundary, it again declines, just as all peaks do. Current top technology has no limits. We can't see the future of it, which is why we should make sure we do not become owned by the technology we invented and created, just like the fish monster story. Although in the future, the world may be full of machines and robots who may make our lives so much more easy and efficient, knowledge and education will remain important to humans. People may mistakenly, mistakenly think that we'll become comfortable not doing anything, letting robots do everything for us, even the thinking process, but this is wrong. We criticize the competitiveness of today's education. Instead of focusing merely on the education itself, we should really understand each other and focus on social aspects. This is the only way education can improve. We should be able to alter the role of education played in our society by making it ours and to our advantage, like one of the professors has said. We should be con con concerned with each other, help each other, and have an eclectic view of the world. We need interactions, creativity, and persistence in order to develop our education for us and for the future. Thank you.